In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at what negative reciprocals mean and how that pertains to slopes of perpendicular lines. So we're going to take a look at several examples on this page, but we're going to start with this uh, AB line segment first. And remember that the slope is rise over run. So to go from A to B, I can go down 2 and to the right 5. So to write the slope, the down 2 would be negative 2. That's the rise, or going down in this case. And the run across is 5. So the slope of AB is negative 2 over 5, or we normally write the negative in front as negative 2 fifths. Now if we want a perpendicular line to this, then what we do is we switch the run and the rise. And so instead of going down 2 and to the right 5, what I can do is instead of going to down 2, I'm going to go right 2. And instead of going to, from left to right 5, I'm going to go up 5. So I'm switching the rise and the run to get a perpendicular line segment. So that line segment right there, uh, now so it has a rise of 5 and a run of 2. So, and we would call this BC, so the slope of BC is 5 over 2. So I switch the rise and the run, and I also change the sign. See, this goes down, so it has a negative slope. This goes up as you go from left to right across the page. So uh, these, two, these two slopes, 5 halves and negative 2 fifths, they, make a, they are perpendicular. Those two line segments would be perpendicular. That's the perpendicular symbol. Now, these two uh, numbers, fractions, negative 2 fifths and 5 halves are called negative reciprocals. And there's two words in that phrase. So the reciprocals part means that the fractions are upside down compared to one another. Because you see, I switched the rise and the run. This rise became the run. This rise of down 2 became a run of 2. And this run of 5 became a rise of 5. So the reciprocals uh, parts, they're fractions upside down compared to one another. And I'll talk about if one of them is a whole number in a moment. And the negative part means they're also negatives of one another. Uh, they're opposite signs. Um, in order to have two line segments with perpendicular slopes, they have to be opposite signs. You have to have one going down and one going up in order to be um, in order to be perpendicular. You can't have two negative slopes that are perpendicular or two positive slopes that are perpendicular. One has to be positive and one has to be negative. So let's take a look at another example. So let's say we have this line segment, we'll call it DE, and to go from D to E we go across 3 and up 4, so DE would have a slope of 4 thirds. 4 is the rise, 3 is the run. So if we want to find a line segment that's perpendicular to this, we switch the rise and the run. So instead of going up 4, I'm going to the right 4. So I switch my rise of 4 to a run of 4. And instead of going a run of 3, I'm going down 3. So I switch my rise uh, to uh, and my run to a rise. So this line segment will be perpendicular to this one. Let's call this one FG so we can name it. So FG would have a slope of the rise is going down 3 and the run is 4. So negative 3 quarters, negative 3 over 4, or negative 3 quarters. Now, you might be asking, well, which one do you change? Do you change the rise or the run? Do you, like signs, which ones do you change? Because it kind of looks like I'm always making, see, we think of this rise, this down 2, down as being negative, but now it's changed to positive. But I left the run alone, kind of, because you see that's positive. We go from left to right. Going up is positive. So over here, it really just depends on which way you're going along the line segment. See, for, the, for all of them so far, I've gone from right to left. So I've done this first and then this. So if you went in the opposite direction, let's say G to F, you could be changing this run of this, see this, instead of going right 4, it's going left 4, and you're going up 3. Okay, so if you if you just think of going the, uh, along the line segment in the opposite direction, you actually still get the same slope, because this would be for my uh, FG right over here, FG. So if you think of the slopes like that, see this would be negative four for the run, this would be up three for the rise, so it'd be three over negative 4, 
And see, we're dividing opposite signs, 3 divided by negative 4. So that is the same as negative 3 quarters. Okay, It's just a different way of looking at the rise and the run. Okay, So you're really just, uh, really just switching the numbers and changing the opposite sign, changing the sign. So let's take a look at one that has a whole number in it. So let's say a slope of 6. Now 6 is the same as 6 over 1, so if you write as a fraction with a denominator 1, you can see the rise is 6, the run is 1. So this is what, would, what it would look like. Okay, there's my run of 1, and there's my rise of 6. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the, and this is the sign for perpendicular, m perpendicular. So we switch, we flip the fraction upside down. Okay, so instead of 6 on top, 6 is in the bottom. Instead of 1 in the bottom, the 1 is in the top in the numerator. And they're opposite signs. See, this was positive, so this would be negative. So those are negative reciprocals. So here's what my perpendicular would look like. It's going to instead go to the right 6 and down 1. Okay, so there's my negative 1 6 slope. And it certainly does look like the two of those are perpendicular. Now the only kind of, it's not really an exception to this, where the... Uh, slopes aren't really negative reciprocals, and I'll, I'll handle this too. Uh, so let's say we had this line segment here. That line segment has a slope of zero. So this line segment right here would be perpendicular to it. And that, since that's straight up and down, um, you see, if I were to write the rise and the run, the slope of zero here, this one here. Okay, my, uh, my doesn't go up or down, so the rise is 0, and the run is uh, 4 across. See, 0 divided by 4 is 0. For this guy right here, see, it goes up 3, but there's no run because it doesn't go to the right or the left. So the run is 0, so this is said to be undefined. You can't divide by 0. So... The slope is undefined. Let me get rid of my writings here. So the slope is said to be undefined for a vertical line. So if you can't represent it with a number, you can't really say it's the negative reciprocal of zero. Okay, so that's the only, it's not really an exception to this, but we can't write a, a uh, the slope of a, a vertical line with a number. So you can't actually do the negative reciprocal thing with the two of those. So that's the only kind of exception to this. So that's what negative reciprocals are. You uh, flip the fraction upside down, and you change the sign, and that gives you a perpendicular slope. And that's the end of the tutorial.